In this video, I will show you how to download PowerPoint on PC. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, what you're gonna to want to do is open up a new internet browser, come across to google.com, and you wanna go ahead and search for Office 365. From here, what you're gonna to want to do is click onto the top result, which is gonna take you across to office.com. When you get to this page, just go ahead and click onto the blue sign in button just here. And then what you can do is sign in with your Microsoft account. Now, what it's gonna do is take you to a page like this. And from here, you can go ahead and use PowerPoint online. However, if you do want to download this onto your PC, what you're going to see up in the top right hand corner is a buy office button. Now I've currently got office 365 already, I've already bought it, but for yourself you would see the blue buy button so you would click onto that and choose the plan that you want to purchase. When you purchase office 365 it does also give you access to other apps such as Microsoft Word and Excel. Now, once you've purchased Microsoft, you're going to see the blue buy button is gonna to change to this one, which says install and more. So you wanna click onto this. Then what you wanna do is click onto install Microsoft 365 apps. And what that's gonna do is take you to a screen like this. And all you need to do is go ahead and press the blue install button. After doing that, what you're gonna to want to do is run the setup program. So you can find that in your downloads folder. And then it's just gonna run through and download and install Microsoft 365, as well as the Office downloads onto your PC. So after Office 365 has finished downloading, as you can see we're here on my desktop, what you can do is come down to the search box at the bottom. Mine's not finished installing, but if you simply go ahead and type PowerPoint into the search box, you will be able to go ahead and use the downloaded version of PowerPoint. So that's how to download PowerPoint on PC. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribe into the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.